I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Barbara. I'm late. I'm, I'm having some crisis with, with my shoes. I'll, I'll see you in an hour. I was a commuter before. I would take the train and walk and transfer and walk. I got these flats because, well, aren't they supposed to be the best for walking? Um. Not exactly, if your feet are small like mine. Now, me and my manager Barbara, she's not too bad, except when... Oh, hello, where the heck are you? Oh, I'll, I'll see you in an hour. I gotta go, the train is here. So let's talk about the shoe issues only you and me would understand because we got smaller feet. Starting with the flats. These are supposed to be the most easy options, but only for other people who don't have smaller feet. If you happen to have small shoe size like myself, I am four and a half on the left, five on the right. Looking for a pair of flats that you can actually wear was extremely hard. This is especially true if they are ballet flats, which have very low vamps and also they have no straps. It was next to impossible for me to find a pair that would actually stay on my foot. So what is the solution for that? First off, you can ditch the ballet flats and go with loafers instead, like this. Very, very similar to flats because it got no heels, almost. The vents of the loafers come up much higher here. So that is going to help a lot in terms of keeping your shoes staying on your foot. This specific pair is from Amazon. It's Amazon Basics, $25. It is quite walkable. Padded footbed, arch support, and this is not completely flat, slightly heeled. And this is gonna look better and also be more comfortable. I know you are busy shoe shopping. If you like this video so far, give me thumbs up. If you don't like it, that's gonna make me sad. But I still would like to know that. If you're new here, I would love to have you come back. Hit the subscribe button. Loafers, since they don't have heels, and if you are short, if you have shorter legs, you're not gonna get the height boost. To counterbalance that, you can go with pointed toe loafers. It can still elongate your legs. Just when I was about to return this to Nordrum Rack, I found on Amazon this lifesaver. Ta-da, the heel grips. I tried something very similar in the past, but it was just the back piece. This flat is not leather, this is synthetic material, so if it's just a back piece, less likely gonna stick. The difference with this one, it has two pieces connected together. One goes to the back of your heels, and another one goes to the front piece. By the way, this is called heel grips, but as you can see, I'm using it on my flat, and it works exactly the same way. You really gotta make sure the back piece aligns really well with the back of your flats or heels so that when you walk, it's not gonna move around. So now with this grips, I can actually walk in these flats now. I am gonna keep them, yay! I mean, I haven't tried to walk long distance in these flats yet, but still, I can tell a big difference. The piece that goes under your foot actually feels much more comfortable because it adds more cushion. Another benefit with these heel grips, if you happen to have uneven shoe size like me, I have four and a half on the left and five on the right. My option is to size up or size down with my shoes. I always size up to size five. So that means four and a half left foot, it's always gonna be, well, most of the time, it's gonna be slipping out of my shoes, whether it's flats or heels. So in that case, I use only one of those grips in the back of my left foot. And that helps a lot. And why do I never size down? Because nobody makes four and a half shoes. So my only option is to go down to size four. And that means I probably will end up like Cinderella's stepsister. I'm away. I'm away. Another option, flat mules, like this one. This is my favorite, especially when the weather gets hotter, in the spring, in the summer. Mules are a great choice. They're very walkable. 
This pair is from Steve Madden. Because it's only covering you in the front, you don't ever have to worry about your foot or slipping out of your shoes anymore. I always go with either black meals, which I can wear with black pants, or nude meals, which goes with literally everything from skirts, pants to jeans. My top choice is always pointed toe or almond-shaped toe because that's just gonna elongate your legs without heels. Now let's talk about heels. If you're petite like me, or if you happen to have shorter legs, chances are you love heels. I know I am indeed a heels girl. Unless I'm walking, unless I'm commuting, most of the time I am wearing heels. Heels, I found the most difficult is pumps. Why? Because pumps got no straps. So the same problem. Most of the time, the pumps are gonna be slipping out of my foot. Over the years, I have tried so many different brands for their pumps. Eight out of 10, I had to return them because there's just no way that they're gonna stay on my foot. So once I do find a pair that actually stays on my foot, that actually I can walk in them, that actually doesn't hurt when I am standing for a long time, I would go back and purchase different colors for the same style from that brand. But now with this heel grips, I can also use this in the back of my palms. And this is gonna prevent my shoes from slipping off of my feet. Another benefit, this can also reduce your chances of getting blisters from your pumps. In the past, if I get a pair of new shoes, doesn't matter if it's heels or flats, they tend to cause a lot of blisters in the back of my feet. And sometimes it got so bad, I had to use band-aids. But this is gonna add another layer of cushion between your shoes and your feet. So this is gonna reduce your chances of getting scratched. Another solution is to go with ankle straps. I do have to caution you, if you happen to be petite, if you have shorter legs, ankle straps have the risk of making your legs look shorter. Why? Because it is a horizontal line right at your ankle. So if your ankle strap is black shoes or any other color which has a very sharp contrast to your skin, very likely they're gonna make your legs look cut off. What is the solution for that? I realize we're talking about a solution for a solution. Anyways, solution for that, go with nude ankle straps on nude shoes. Nude is not the name for just one color. Family of colors, beige, tan, camel, or even taupe. Whatever your skin tone is, darker, fair, find a shade that is closest to your skin tone. And that is your shade of nude because you want the ankle strap to blend with the color of your skin. And that's gonna make sure your legs will not get cut off when you wear ankle straps. I would also suggest you go with skinny ankle straps versus big ones because the wide ankle straps are even worse. They're more likely to make your legs cut off compared with the skinnier ankle straps. If you have small shoe size, five, four, or even smaller, where do you even find your size? I am a five, well, four and a half and five, but I go with five. I struggled a lot looking for the sizes. Most designers start with size six. When I was living in Manhattan, most of the shoe stores, they would not even have size five for me to try on, like ever. So I learned it the hard way. If I go to big shoe places, more like Macy's or Lord & Taylor, before I went down there, of course, I might be waiting all day for the store associate to find that one pair of size five they have on the entire floor that I could try on. So to save my time, I learned the best way, the most efficient way to shop is to go online. That's where you can immediately find your size. Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack, those are two of my favorite places to look for my shoes. Nordstrom carries such a big price range, it's very possible you can find the style you like and in your price point, in your budget. If you're looking for splurge, the luxury premium designers, Gucci, Ferragamo, Louboutin, they make small sizes, five and four. 
Also, if you're looking for everyday kind of brands, you can find Tory Burch, Sam Edelman. They also make five and four. I also like comfortable brands, Naturalizer, Echo. Those brands also make size five and size four. You can find all of them at Nordstrom. And also you can find some of them at Nordstrom Rack. When they are discounted and taken off the shelf from Nordstrom, they're gonna go to Nordstrom Rack. So that's where you sometimes can find really good deals. Nordstrom also has some size three. If you are under four, you can also look at Zappos because Zappos start with two. Another place I've heard great things about is Cinderella of Boston. So if you are size two, three, and four, make sure you also check out Cinderella of Boston. I am 5'2". To be honest, most of the time I'm wearing heels because I want to look taller and I want my legs to look longer. I know not everybody is used to wearing high heels or even heels at all. If that is you, what is the best way to still appear taller and have longer legs. Check out this video. In this video, my secret sauce, how to use the row of thirds, divide your body into the most ideal proportion so that you look taller and leaner, have longer legs, even without heels.